Hello there, senior high school students. Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 11 learners! Now, let's proceed naman dito sa number 2. Quarterly payments of 5,000 pesos for 10 years with an interest rate of 2% compounded annually. Identify muna natin yung mga given. That is, ang regular payment ay 5,000 pesos. And then, ang ating time is equal to 10 years. So, T equals 10. At ang Compounding interest natin is annually. So, ang M sub 1 natin is 1. At ang periodic payment natin is quarterly payments. Ibig sabihin that is equal to 4. So, ang N natin, that is M2 times time equals 4 times ang time natin is 10 years. So, 4 times 10 is equal to 40. Ibig sabihin yan, within 10 years, 40 times siyang magbabayad. Kasi nga, quarterly payments times 10 year kaya 40. Ito yung formula ng N for general ordinary annuity. Magkaiba sila sa simple annuity kasi M times T lang yun. And then, ang rate natin is 2% compounded annually. So, that is I raised to 1. Kasi annually, annually yung rate natin. That is equal to 2% or 0 0.02. So, ang hanapin natin is yung equivalent rate ng 2% sa quarterly payments. Kasi nga magkaiba sila, compounded annually at saka quarterly payments. So, kailangan natin kunin yung value ng J, which is yung equivalent rate ng quarterly payments. So, hanapin natin yung J, yung future value at saka yung present value. Alright? So, para makuha natin yung J, that is F sub 1 equals F sub 2, which is yung F sub 1, ito yung periodic payment na 4. At yung F sub 2 natin, ito yung interest period na annually. So, that is 1. Gamitin natin yung formula ng compound interest, that is P times 1 plus, ang rate natin is wala pa, that is I Quarterly payment, so I raised to 4 over 4 raised to the power of M na 4 times T equals yung future value or yung F2 natin is 1 T times 1 plus I raised to 1 over 1 raised to the power of 1 T. Alright? So, sabi ko nga, pwedeng makancel yung P dyan kasi ang kailangan lang naman natin is yung rate ng quarterly payment. So, makakancel yung P, makakancel yung T. Ang matitira na lang ay 1 plus I raised to 4 over 4 raised to the power of 4 equals 1 plus. Ang I raised to 1 natin is 0 0.02. So, ilagay na natin yung 0 0.02 over 1 raised to the power of 1. And then simplify. Rewrite lang natin to. 1 plus i raised to 4 over 4 quantity raised to the power of 4 equals 0 0.02 divided by 1 equals 0 0.02 plus 1 equals 1.02 raised to the power of 1. Okay? Ngayon, ang goal natin, kailangan matanggal si 4 dito para matira yung nandito sa loob. Para magawa yun, kunin natin yung fourth root ng both sides. Alright? Okay. So, makakancel na yung 4 dito. Makakancel yan by law of radicals. Alam nyo naman na yan, ba? So, unahin muna natin yung nandito sa right side. Fourth root. Palitan natin to ng 4. Fourth root of 1.02. That is equal to 1. 
zero zero four nine six two nine three two. And then, ito naman, i-rewrite lang natin, 1 plus i raised to 4 over 4. So, para matanggal itong 1 dito, by using the addition property of equality, mag-subtract lang tayo ng 1 both sides. So, magiging i raised to 4 over 4 equals, ito naman, magiging 0 0.0049629322. Okay? So, ito na yung J natin. Ang J natin is 0 0.0049629322. Then, pwede na natin isubstitute yung ating mga given sa ating formula. So, the future value equals 5,000 pesos na regular payment. Multiply it by 1 plus ang J natin ay ito. Then, parenthesis, raised to the power of n, ang n natin is 40. Nasundan, minus 1, all over j. So, ang j natin ay ito. Okay? Ngayon, para mas mabilis, kunin natin yung calculator natin. And then, input lang natin yung mga values. So, ito yung ating 1 plus j na, ba? So, diretso na natin, raised to the power of 40. And this is the answer, minus 1 equals 0 0.21, divide it by J na 0 0.0049629332. That is equal to 44.13 times 5,000 pesos equals 220,630. Okay, so this is the Future value for number 2. And then for present value, this is the formula. That is P equals 5,000 pesos times 1 minus 1.0049629332. Ito yung 1 plus J raised to the power of negative 40 all over ang J is eto okay so pasensya na sa ano sulat then using our calculator yung my exponent muna 1.0049629322 raised to the power of negative 40 and this is the answer so 1 minus yung answer natin equals 0 0.17 divide it by 0 0.0049629332 and this is the answer 36.19 multiply it by 5000 pesos so ang present value is equal to 180993.53 by rounding to the nearest hundreds so this is the present value of the general ordinary annuity. I-double check nyo na lang kung ano yung nasa module ninyo kasi minsan may mga error din sa paglagay nila ng answer. Pero ganito dapat ang gawin ninyo ha. Okay, so let's proceed to this problem. Semi-annual payments of 105,000 with an interest rate of 12% compounded annually for 5 years. So let us identify the following given. So, semi-annual payments of 105. So, ang regular payment natin is 105,000 pesos. Ang M1 natin compounded annually. So, that is equal to 1. And then, ang M2 natin is semi-annual payments. So, that is equal to 2. And then, ang T natin, that is equal to 5 years, kaya 5. Meaning to say, ang N natin, periodic payment, that is M2 times T. So, 2 times 5 equals 10. So, peri semi-annual payments, dalawang beses sa isang taon siya magbabayad within 5 years, kaya 10 times siyang magbabayad in the span of 5 years. And then, ang uh, I, sa so, ang rate natin for annually, so that is I raised to 1 equals 12% or 
0.12. So, ang hahanapin natin is yung J or yung I raised to power of 2. And then present value and future value. So, first step that is equal to F sub 1 equals F sub 2. Yung F sub 1, ito yung periodic payment natin na semi-annual payments. So, that is M equals 2 kasi semi-annual payment. At yung F sub 2 natin, yung annually, compounded annually, that is equal to 1. Okay? Shortcut na yung ilalagay ko. 1 plus yung rate na I raised to the power of 2 over 2. Kasi semi-annual. Raised to the power of 2. Yung periodic payment pa rin. Equals 1 plus I raised to 1 over 1. Kasi annual, annually. Raised to the power of 1. Next, simplify natin. That would be equal to 1 plus I raised to 2 over 2 raised to the power of 2 equals 1 plus ang I raised to 1 natin is equal to 0 0.12 over 1 raised to the power of 1. Ang goal natin matira lang yung I raised to 2 over 2 or yung J natin. Ito yung J natin ha. Para matanggal yung 2 dito, pwede kayong mag Raised to the power of 1 half or kunin ninyo yung square root para makancel yung 2 dito. And then, mag-square root din dapat tayo dito. So, ang matitira na lang ay 1 plus i raised to 2 over 2 equals 0 0.12 divided by 1 equals 0 0.12 pa rin plus 1 equals 1.12 raised to the power of 1 ay 1.12 pa rin. And then, kopyahin natin yung square root. Okay? Ang next na gagawin natin, kunin natin yung square root ng 1.12. The square root of 1.12 is equal to 1.058300524. Then, ang next na gagawin natin, mag-minus tayo ng 1 both sides para ito lang yung matira. So, minus 1 dito. Minus 1 din dito. So, mag-minus 1 tayo dito sa ating answer. So, that would be equal to I raised to 2 over 2 equals 0 0.058300524432443. Okay? Ilagay natin lahat para accurate yung makukuha nating sagot. So, this is now our J. So, na yung J natin ha. Future value, gamitin natin yung formula na to. That is, F equals regular payment na 105,000 times 1 plus yung J natin, kunin muna natin yung 4 decimal places. 0 0.0583 raised to the power of N. Ang N natin is 10. So, 10 dito, minus 1, all over J is 0.0583. Mag-add na lang tayo ng 1 ulit dito. 1 plus J. Raised to the power of 10 minus 1. Divide it by 0.0583005443. And the answer is 13.07. Multiply natin sa 105,000. And that is equal to 1 million 372,987.25 pesos. So, ito yung future value for this problem. Now, for present value naman, this is the formula. Okay? By substitution, that is 105,000. Times 1 minus 1 plus J is 1.0583 raised to the power of negative N all over 0 0.0583. So, using our calculator, so ito yung value ng 1 plus J natin raised to the power of negative 10. And then 1 
minus yung answer, ito yung sagot, divide it by 0 0.058300052443 equals 7.41, multiply it by 105,000, that is equal to 69.83 pesos. Ibig sabihin, ito yung present value ng problem na ito. Okay? Yun lamang. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!